Thank God, we're back. We're back. We're in the bad place now. Yo, what is up, guys? So, we're back. What a coinkadink. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing is very simple and straightforward. We're going to start beating Dark Souls 1. Now, I actually do remember what I was doing uh, beforehand. So, I was trying to figure out, A, how to join the Dark Sun Covenant. Uh, B, how to find Vamos, because I remember that he's in the catacombs. But, yeah, I was trying to think of how to do it, and I got lazy, looked up a video for that one. Dark Sun Covenant, though, I know for a fact the ring's in the catacombs. I just don't know where... And I went on the wiki just to make sure of that, and the wiki did agree. So, that means is we're going to the bad place. Now, sadly, though, before we go to the bad place, we have to go somewhere else. Somewhere far worse. It's the Seagward. I'll talk to you later, buddy. See you in hell. So, where are we going, you might wonder? Are we going to hell? The very abyss of some people's souls? The nightmare world? Nope, nope, we're going to the undead parish. And where in the undead parish? To kill the fucking wolf. Yeah, so, we're gonna be killing that. You know, you know, you know, you know. We're gonna be killing the doggo, the big doggo. Yeah. Yeah. Artorius' little pet. Yeah. You you all know where this is going. <clears throat> so anyway, though. The way this works is we just run along down here. Now, we could, of course, kill this blacksmith and just take the key, but we're doing this the right way because I actually need this blacksmith for a few achievements that I'll be getting off stream. Okay. Oh yeah, we can unequip that. Anyway, so the way this is gonna work is we're basically gonna go through here. We we did buy that, right? Just just making sure we we did buy that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now for this part of the game, like legit, because of how much we overleveled, uh, this area might be a joke. And that's not a bad thing, but you actually can do this part of the game, like, legit at the start at soul level 1. Technically soul level 5, but... <clears throat> you know, depending on what class you play it as. Oh yeah, also, so we will be doing the Artorias and Abyss DLC, and when we do that, I kind of vaguely remembered that there was... A lot of stuff in that DLC that was broken. Uh, Chameleon for PvP is also linked to that DLC, however it's not in it. And that is like my favorite ability, because you know, who doesn't want to become an object infinitely? And there is an item in the base game for that, however uh, with that it's just infinite, and that item is not. So we're gonna be doing that. And yeah. Yeah, there's uh couple sorceries, if I remember right, that are, like, ridiculously broken in that DLC. Like, one-shotting every boss broken. We'll worry, we'll worry about this later. Okay, and the way this place works is kind of stupid, so... <clears throat> yeah, you gotta watch out for mages that do that. And then you also gotta watch out for the knight, and I think there's, like, a bandit somewhere. Oh god. I'm AIDS at fighting. I'm AIDS at fighting. Let's lure them in here. Yeet. Yeet. I feel like they buffed these guys' stats. The only reason I say that is because, like, these guys have a ridiculous amount of HP. And I, I know they have a ridiculous amount of HP, but I don't remember them having that much. 
go. Yeet. Okay. Okay, now, now the rest of this is just gonna be easy. I think what they probably did was upgrade the AI. I know you can just run past them, but I'm not part of that lifestyle. Oh yeah, and up ahead is a covenant we can join, so we will be doing that. Another one bites the dust. Okay. <clears throat> so what's up the mountain? Oh. Wait. Wait, his AI didn't attack. He's set to roll before he does anything. That's depressing. Oh, hey. Bandit. Better placement, I see. What? Did he just do a smart AI thing? That's not... that's not normal. That's not normal. They're evolving! Oh, hey, we're out of plus. Great. We're gonna join this covenant, that way we don't have to worry about this again. And then we'll rest that bonfire. <clears throat> oh, that's... that's adorable. That is adorable. Smash. 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 Adorable. You know, it, it, it really is. It's, it's just adorable seeing them try. Do you have anything else to heal with? Yeah, we got that one item that's rare. We would have had humanity or something. But that works. What's that red glowing light? Is that a pyromancer? Must be! Must be! Oh, it's a bandit. Why was he glowing red? What type of special effects did they glitch him with? Oh god. Okay, you can talk this out. Oh, you want to spark shit out. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, 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 buddy, buddy. You don't need to swing an axe. It's ain't Minecraft. We can just, we can just talk about this like gentle men, like gentle men. Okay, so. Now what we want to do is... It's this way, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how I got so far strewn to, like, the right side. <clears throat> is it thou that comest thee not for the my legend traver of... Well, indeed, I'm Alv... I... I... Join Covenant. And he. If yeah. Okay. So now we can do PVP here. So that's good. Also, did I upgrade my gear? Barely. I barely upgraded my gear. We need to fix that up a bit. That's fine for now, though. I'll worry about it later. Oh, wait. This bonfire is not going to be cool. Be human. We need to kill. So we killed Priscilla, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. I wasn't sure. 
I don't know why I wasn't sure, but I wasn't sure. Yep, these guys are all still statues. That guy's still invisible. Isn't this guy like a merchant later on or something? I'm she last tip that says no time to check except there is little in the fight and hunt as you like. Only don't forget. That's a don't for great. Don't you'll be hunters with Okay. Oh yeah, this is Mushroom Town. Okay. Okay, there's the mushrooms. Here's the big mushroom. I forgot, are these guys weak to fire? I feel like they aren't. That's a little bit. They're, they're pretty tanky though. Oh yeah, by the way, so... This guy is Mushroom Dad, and if he hits you, like, you're, you're dead. You're, you're basically dead. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, you're, you're dead. I don't, I don't think he'd one-shot us necessarily, but I know he would kill us pretty easily if we actually just let him hit us. <coughs> that was actually close. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, patience. Patience is virtue. Okay, now we're gonna do a jump attack. Messed up. Oh, okay. Good enough. Old pine resin. I didn't even know those guys dropped that. Not that great, but I mean, like, hey, we could buff ourselves. Happy. Nice. Oh, hey, I did it. Oh no, I did it. Oh Jesus, I did it again. So my jump attack doesn't stun. That's good to know. That was like a frame away from hitting my face. This is getting dangerous. Oh yeah, and all the baby mushrooms, so like, they run away from you if I remember right, but if you get close to them, they do have an attack. It's not that strong, but it's, you know, strong enough to move your health bar. Enchanted Ember, now we can get magic weapons. We can get magic weapons. Okay. Now, just as a warning before we do this, I'm not actually sure if I can kill the Great Wolf. Now, the only reason I say that ahead of time is because normally I keep sorceries on because when he runs around you, like, you know, away from a distance, you can shoot him before he charges you. <clears throat> but not doing that gay shit, so we don't know how this will go. I could get wrecked for all I know. Okay. We're entering. Also, this fight's much easier the first time you do it than if you die. I learned that when I was new to Dark Souls, and the reason's because coming through that door, he charges you immediately. When you start the fight, you're in the center of the field. Which is a lot better of a place to be. I'm noticing some frame rate drops. Like, a lot of frame rate drops. <laughs> This is what Dark Souls Remastered does with giant wolves, it just causes frame rate drops. Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Fuck. Block! 
Oh, we can just flat out block him. I didn't know we could block him. I thought he would do like a lot of damage to our block. Okay. Okay. We, we were not prepared for this fight. We were not prepared at all. I should not have done a boss when first coming back to Dark Souls. We need more poise. Smash. <clears throat> Smash. Oh yeah, it's just run into him, isn't it? Is isn't the strat just run into his side or whatever? Yeah. Oh, did they change his hitbox? Do you have to hit him on the head? Wait, no. No, actually. that That's important. Wait, no. No, because you're supposed to be able to hit him from under, too. Yeah, his only hitbox is his head. Oh, that's gay. Oh, that's so gay. It's not okay. Oh my god, yeah, no, that... It's not even that that causes a problem. It's more or less just the fact that, like... I prefer to be able to hit the boss everywhere. Because, yes, you lock onto his head, but at the same time... Like, right there. Okay, that should have hit him at the beginning of that attack frame. That should not have hit him at the end of the attack. Because by hitting him at the end of the attack, he could have time to hit you. Which would, you know, cause death. Okay. What? What? Auto aim save me? Auto auto aim save me? Okay, he was experiencing the frame drop too. Like, his actual attack animation was supposed to go a lot faster. That wasn't him moving slow to be, like, you know, immersive. That was actually just his frame rate dropping and only on him. The fuck? Uh, that's not supposed to happen. That is, like, 100% not supposed to happen. Okay. Okay. I mean, hey, hey I, guess, I guess that happens, you know? I guess sometimes bosses experience frame rate drop too. And only the bosses. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need to upgrade our armor before we take on the four kings. I'm just gonna state that now. Oh god. Oh, we did not prepare. Actually, to be fair, we, we can prepare pretty easily. I think, at least. It's like, all we really have to do... We have to upgrade our gear. That's one thing. That's the only thing, actually. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's really about it. That's all we have to do. I wish that the Warpable Bonfire wasn't the Chaos uh, Shrine. I wish it was the uh, Bonfire in Blight Town. Technically, I wish all the bonfires in this game had a uh, warp feature, but that's just because I've played, you know, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, both of them had that feature. So it was like, hey, if you got a bonfire, that's a permanent checkpoint you can teleport to whenever. Although, it does kind of make progress a little bit easier. Dark Souls 1 wasn't meant to help people, it was meant to hurt them, mentally and physically. <clears throat> okay, we need Twinkling Titanite, and I think you get that from uh, the guy in Anne Orlando. So, we need a lot of Twinkling Titanite, though. 
And then after we get a bunch of Twinkling Titanite, we can fully upgrade our armor. I mean, it'll add some D. It won't add a lot, but it'll add some defense. We'll be able to tank a few more hits. Because it'll add like 20 defense-ish. 20 or 30. Also, what's our spy hander? It's, it's plus 5. Okay. So... We have a divine ember, don't we? Like, we, we picked that up. Okay, so Enchanted Ember, and I think that is for Amos. I could be wrong. That might be for the other guy. The other guy. I think Famos does the fire enhancement, but I'm not sure. Well, you seem to need anything. There are two types with but you won't. Okay. But what all can you do, sir? So he can Brute Reinforce it up, he can Raw Reinforce it, Divine Reinforcement, uh, the opposite of Divine Reinforcement, Occult. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. I don't really want an Occult Zweihander. No. I don't want a Raw Zweihander. Because if we get that, like, the Raw one does massive damage. What am I at? Force weapon. <clears throat> We're gonna get our Zweihander up there in damage. We passed it. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. We didn't. Okay. So now we just have to find it. it. Should be up towards the top, shouldn't it? Yeah, middle. Okay. And I think large Titanite shards we can get from the blacksmith and in Rolando too. We can get our damage up to being like double. That's good. And then more large Titanite. Get I won't get myself killed. Okay. So we got this up there in damage. That's easy for now. For now. Probably say let's go to Chamber of the Brain or Launch Chamber of the Brain. Eh. If we do Dark Moon Tune, that's like the closest one technically. But we might have to use the elevator. And I'll, I'll just do Chamber of the Princess. That's like the easiest way to get there. And eventually, like, if I remember right, one of the bonfires goes out when we trigger the uh, Dark Sun boss fight, but that won't be for a while, because what you do for that is the bonfire goes out because one of the NPCs is working for Dark Sun Gwendolyn, and basically if you attack uh, Guinevere, that's what makes it so that you can do that boss fight pretty easily. Uh, the logic is, though, is that you hit Guinevere, uh, that statue in the Dark Sun's tomb, basically disappears, then you can go in there to fight Gwendolyn. Well, the other thing though is that Bonfire Keeper comes out and she's an NPC, she tries to kill you, and when you kill her, the bonfire at the start of Anne Rolando disappears. And before we do that, we want to have the archives done. Not necessarily done, but we want, you know, progress in there. And the reason is because if we don't at least have progress in the archives, and we will be behind what we should be. By a lot. Because we'll have to run all the way from uh, either Sin's Fortress or the Princess's Chamber all the way over there. I guess the, the Dark Moon Tomb one might still be open when you kill Gwendolyn, but I don't remember. I was gonna say though, because like, it's a long walk, basically. And we don't need the long walks. Oh no. Oh no. I did not mean to do this. Did, I did not mean to... Okay... I did not mean to do this. Um... Hmm. 
let's just uh, reinforce a little bit. We're about it's it's like the top of the middle, isn't it? I think so. It's like it's right there. Modify weapon, Rosvi Hander. Oh hey, I got the achievement. Okay, so that's as strong as the uh, Rosvi Hander is gonna get. <coughs> Which, I mean, hey, that's fine. What we were planning on. So, next is reinforcing armor, which is going to be these, and we're going to need Twinkling Titanite for that, and Twinkling Titanite is expensive. So, yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. What do we want to upgrade? Well, we could get four defense, three defense, or two defense. Well, you know, in that case. I think if I upgrade this can I upgrade it twice I think so I'm not sure I'm hoping okay yeah that technically got us more that more bang for a buck okay we can't get out of here can we yeah we can't okay so the way this is gonna work now is we can either farm for HP uh, I think that's about it Really, because we can farm for HP, farm for a couple of things, but most of them are relevant. Yeah, we could go into the catacombs, but we'd have to walk by the giant serpent, and I'm pretty sure that would trigger his dialogue, which we can't do. Huh. Huh. How to go about this? How to go up that uh, uh, uh. Would we be able to see that lady that's invisible normally? Like, is it 25 faith or is it 25 intelligence you need to see her? I don't know. Fuck. Oof. That's gonna be a big one. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead and try taking on the four kings. We might be able to do it. I have my doubts, but we, we might be able to. Okay, four kings, zero preparation. <clears throat> Seems doable. Hey, lady. Okay. We're going on a trip in our favorite packet ship. Okay. The way this is gonna work is we're going to all the way down. Go through Ghost Town. Let's see if we can get all the way through in one run. I doubt we'll get all the way through in one run, though. We'll have to activate the shortcuts. Let's hope we can do that much. On the bright side, we can one shot the ghost, so that won't be a problem. If anything, the Dark Wraiths might be a problem. Probably not. What will definitely be a problem is the actual boss fight. Because the boss fight is kind of on a timer in a way. If the boss fight draws on too long, then there's a lot more than four kings. <clears throat> and they do break your shit. Oh, hi there. Hi, lady. Oh, oh, you took out a bar of my health. That is kind of depressing, actually, because I have a lot of bars. I like this place a lot better when there's no water. Okay. Gonna join the Dark Grates, because the Dark Grates are the best. Gonna steal the souls. Because 
my humanity is at risk. I know when dark falls because I have no friends. This is the way you win and everything in life, okay? Can you pull this? No, you can't. You gotta activate it from down below. Okay. Yeet! Oh, hey. That's a lot of ghosts. Two. Oh, hey. There's one behind me. Going on a trip. Start the countdown. Okay. Ooh, a dagger. Oh, there's so much I can do with this. I could parry, and I could parry, and I could backstab. I could swing it. Is. That's a screamer, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Oh. If I remember right, screamers like attract them. But I don't know if they were attracted. Or if I killed them all before I even got there. down there. I don't think there is. Yeah, I won't worry about it. What's in here? Oh no. Oh, 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 I'm in, I'm in a bad, I, I went, I went down the wrong alleyway. Oh, oh god. Okay. Okay. That's what it feels like when a white man walks into the ghetto. Oh god. Okay. Okay. See, I don't get why the ghost weapons, like, even exist. And the reason I question that is because of the fact that all they literally do is make it so that you can hit ghosts. But, like... I'm pretty sure Divine Weapon does that too. So like... No, I, I never understood it. So I'm not positive. Do Divine Weapons hit ghosts? Because I, I would think they would. I know the Divine Weapons make it so that skeletons don't res whenever there's a uh, Necromancer nearby, but... I was never really sure about that, like... Do they? I would feel like they would, because like, Divine Weapons need a second use than just... You know, just... Fucking making sure this Skelly boys don't get back up. Oh, is there someone in here? I can hear the sound. Oh, it's it's it was stuck up there. And the AI in this game is so bad sometimes. And I, I'm I know for a fact that they did change some of the AIs in this game, because like Smo used to be a lot more angry whenever he attacked. Um. Did, did all the ghosts attack us in that hallway so they're not here? Oh my god. Oh yeah, also, so, fun fact, if you're on the base Xbox uh, One, like, not the Xbox One X, but if you're on the Xbox One, you can't speed up going on ladders or you and you can't slide down. There is no reason why, you just physically can't. It doesn't work in the backwards compatible version or on uh, the remastered. You just physically can't slide or sprint up ladders, and there's no explained reason why. Well, this hey. is you, Harry. I know exactly. You seek this. The four kings use this key. Oh, the dark wraiths. Repart the abyss is no place. Although, long ago, if you can find him. Hello, the... I just realized something. So, like... Artorias could go into the abyss, but like the four kings just kind of live in the abyss, right? Like, th think about that for a second. They live in the abyss, a place that living things shouldn't be able to stay. Went <laughs> the long barrel. But like, no, okay, okay. So they exist in a place that things that living aren't allowed to exist. Okay. 
Well, it makes sense because the darkness corrupted them, right? Okay, so we got that, but like... That doesn't explain how they're still alive, though. It should have killed them, and they were multiplying also. That That's another thing. Like, the Four Kings, the Abyss gave them the ability to multiply. Which, that's like, so it made them stronger. It didn't kill them. But why? Like, why, why don't I get stronger when I go in the Abyss? Why do I fucking fall through the map? <laughs> and just die? Also, why does Artorias' ring let you just walk in the Abyss? Like, it, it's literal darkness. You shouldn't be able to walk in that anyway. I'm seeing multiple plot holes with the whole Abyss thing. Is there, is there something up there? I thought I saw a health bar for a second. Nope, I, I guess not. There, there was nothing. Up, that's weird. Why the fuck was there a health bar? I know that the remastered has a few glitches and errors that the regular didn't, but like, every now and then you get something that just shouldn't be there by a lot. What's in here. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. Push it real good. It'd be funny if like at the end of this animation you just kind of fall off. Oh yes, the floodgates also wait a second, the water poured out, shouldn't those dragons have drowned? I feel like I feel like what really should have happened is as soon as you open those gates, like literally, <laughs> the water should just pour out and then you just see that you get souls at the end of the cutscene. That way you're just sitting there like, what? Where did I get oh my god. And you know, you, you wouldn't understand it unless you've been in Drake Valley and then you're thinking like, oh my god, they just drowned. Okay. Oh yeah, all the bodies. Forgot about this. Welcome to hell, boys. Population? Literally just us. Because all of these people are dead. Nope. Nope. Don't. Don't get up. Stay down. It's okay. Now you can dream. But all you can do is dream. Sweet Caroline. Ba ba ba. I wonder if that aggroed anything. I guess not. I can hear footsteps, and I can hear heavy breathing around the corner, but, like, where's the heavy breathing coming from? Where could it possibly... Oh, hey, there's no one here. Thank God. Wait. Wait a second. Oh. That's where it's coming from. Hi, friend. Hi. Hi. Yes, companionship. You just, just turned? He turned. Yeet! Yeet! He's dead. He's dead. Okay. My soul! Okay. So. Here we go. Here we go. Into the bad place. Into the bad place. Run back. Run back. Fast. Fast. Okay. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. Like some giant blob that summons those self destructing skulls in here. Also, isn't there like three dark wraiths in here? Nope. Nope. God, I'm happy we can two shot. Okay. Okay, there's one right there. Oh, yeah, there's the. I found it. I found it. Oh. Oh. What's it gonna do? What's it? Oh, Jesus, I forgot it can do that. What are you? What are you? Why are you here? This isn't Mexico. Get back, you filthy pig. Is that self-destructing skull in the sky? That's a self-destructing skull in the sky. Oh, those are not good. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One shot, one shot, one shot! 
RKO! Okay, here we go. Here we go. What's the worst that could happen? Walking in a dark alleyway with a bunch of shanty houses. Oh, hey. This guy looks friendly. Hey, buddy, so I was just wondering, could I offer you a loan? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never go in the hood offering people loans. Oh, God. I should have learned from Dateline. Okay. Good, we got humanity. That's a free heal. Wait. Wait, what's this? Actually, I, I didn't know this was here. What's this? What's this? this is this second story. Shit, no, really? Wait, really? Wait. Is that a free item? No enemies? Whoa. Oh my god. Free item. Free item. Is there actually like no enemies up here? I feel like there's got to be at least one, like, at the end of this. There has to be, right? Like, this isn't... This, there, there's no comfort zones in Dark Souls. Hold up. Hold up. Is he down there? Wait. No? No, is there... What? Is there just really no, like... What? Oh, the very large ember. Okay, well, I do remember that. So, maybe I have been up here, but, like... Is there really no enemy? Hold up. Hold up. No. I refuse to accept this. I refuse to accept. I'm holding my shield out. There... There's no enemy up here. None. Zero. What is this? Th this was like... This is that type of zone where you'd hope there'd be an enemy. Like, what? Okay, you know, like, I got wasted potential, you know? You find it every now and then. In a game this big, there's bound to be some. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, we'll just... Go back to the normal Dark Souls, where everything's obvious. Where are we going? Oh god, it's not obvious. I'm lost. There's a dead guy there. This isn't where we're going. We're going over here. That's how you know where you've been, if there's bodies or not. Didn't, didn't we just get rid of the water? Wait a second. I'm seeing continuity errors. Up over here. Is there? Is stuff here? That that's a drop. There there's nothing there. That's a suicide drop. Okay. Oh. Okay, all I'm asking for is to get jumped. I know, I know that might sound like a bit much, but that's all I'm asking for. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now we go here. Nothing! No items. Why is that there? Okay. Wait. What? Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I did not know that was there. Um, I'm happy now. I'm happy. This this game gives you more than what you expect sometimes, and sometimes less. But it normally boils down to more. Come here. Yeah, I should have aggroed them. Yeah, yeah, okay, they're, they're just slow. Did it, did it only aggro one? Because I'm pretty sure there are two enemies. Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the other one. Oh, God. No! Why? Why are the suicide skulls here? Oh, Jesus! It can hit me from that range? 
Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, God. Is that petrification? What the fuck? Can it follow me out here? I'm hoping not. Really hoping not. He wanted to fight in a place where he had the advantage, but plot twist, I had the advantage all along. Titanite chunk. I think the large ember, if I remember right, just lets you do reinforcement past 10 to 15. What? What? Nope. We're gonna have to freaking rush it. Is that petrification? Please tell me that's not petrification. Is it curse? What is it? What did he afflict me with? Am I dying? No, I'm not dying. Okay. I guess it's just temporary poison or something. Okay. Okay. Are you done? Are you done yet? You're not done. Oh! Oh, he can hit me through the wall. Oh, that's... that's user-friendly. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that's a suicide. So... Come in, we're out. Okay. Hi, Night Chunk. Yeet. Yoat. Oh, we got the Dark Hand! That is their rare drop. That weapon has a really low chance of draw. We don't even need to join the Covenant now, but I still want to. Like, literally the whole reason I want to join the Covenant whenever I play this is just for that weapon. Okay, let's see real quick. We've got two, one. We could maybe win with this, but I don't want to risk it. We opened up all the shortcuts, though, and that's what I was hoping for. So, that out of the way, we'll head back real quick. Because I'm pretty sure those blobs are also one-time enemies, and that's what mostly did the damage. Welcome to Helven. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So, why are we here? we be like at the firelink shrine isn't isn't that where we should be okay well if we give this guy the ember or not the other guy for all my years in I'm just an old smith will you really give me your left arm he uh he's not giving me his left arm I'm a little bit disappointed now. Okay, so yeah, we just need Twinkling Titanite to upgrade our gear there. Okay. Well. What do we have for rings? Got Havel's ring. That's good. It's decent. We're gonna need the Abyss ring. Oh boy, we're gonna be fat rolling. That's never fun. But now, nope, still fat rolling. Okay. Do we have a shield that blocks magic? We might need one. I didn't think about that, but we might, like, actually need one. We don't have one, do we? No, we don't. Okay. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Greatly reduces magic damage. Thank God. Okay. We got a couple of our cubbies. Okay, okay. We, we got this now because we have that. I'm not actually sure that we do, but we might. We might just have this. In the bag. Okay. Sigurd. Sigurd. Wish me luck. Onion bro for life. Ah. 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 So I just realized our SS Blast is only, like, plus one. <laughs> and the reason why that's... Did us not... Did us using the Firekeeper Souls, did they change that to where you're doing that doesn't upgrade your flask? Because if so, then we kind of... We didn't ruin the run, technically, but I feel like they did just stop the duplication of it. And if that's the case, then, like... We're gonna be healing for trash until, like, New Game Plus really bad like that's actually really really bad I can't believe they would do that though but I think they did because we've picked up like three or four and we've used them all oh god that's that's a bad thing I'm gonna need to remember that for other playthroughs because that's really it's not upsetting because I mean hey they've changed a decent amount of stuff but like and stupid <laughs> like you shouldn't be able to use it if it's just tossing it out okay we're gonna like try to save as much health as possible so we've got all of those equipped we have the abyss ring because we're gonna need that as the abyss ring, right, 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 yeah, go no more toward it. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is what the place looks like without water. It's nice. Honestly, I feel like what, just because of that, I feel like a pirate ship just kind of went straight to the city. Like, you know in Dark Souls 2, that one place that's like a pirate's cove or whatever, I feel like it's that, except, you know, instead of being a shantytown full of pirates, the pirates just kind of drove straight into a castle. They weren't even like, we're gonna attack and raid it. No, it, it was literally just, we're gonna ram them. And then they all died, because that was a stupid decision. But like, at the same time, uh, the, the king's horses and king's men couldn't like, you know, get rid of it. Because there's just a ship crashed into your castle. Oh god, that'd be priceless. Sir, what do we do about the wood? Ah, just leave it. We're all gonna be dead in a little while. Why is that, sir? Oh god, the abyss! That's exactly how it probably would play out. Okay, so the way this works is we go through here, we take a left, there's an enemy on the left, and watch out! Chow. We pull the lever. Wait a few seconds. Oh, hi, enemy. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh! Oh, you spotted me, did ya? It's not very nice. Do, 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 do. Where the fuck's the door? Where the fuck's the door? Okay, I sent it back up. Where are we? Where are we? I need to know. Fast. Where are we? We are in a bad place. Oh god, why? Okay, okay, okay. Making progress. Oh, oh god. Oh god, oh god. If he does that, he steals your humanity. Okay. Okay, not today. Not today, Mr. Dark Ray. Not today. See you no home today. 
Okay, okay, okay. 1v1, 1v1, bam! 1v1, 1v1, bam! Okay. If I remember I... Oh, so it started you... It started you off pretty far in. It's nice. I like that. I like starting off pretty far in. You know? Why did the invisible wall, like, reappear? It's weird. So I think there is more stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought there would be more stuff. Okay. Do you just, do you just hit a wall? The, look at him doing like the slow edge walk because he's like, God damn it, I hit the wall. Oh God, I ran right in. I'm fucking stupid. That's probably exactly what's going on through his head right now. What's down here? Oh, never mind. I just realized we're gonna have to kill the Hydra eventually. Like off stream, I'm probably just gonna do the Souls Duke glitch for a while until I've got my intelligence high enough to where magic resistance is just broken. So we don't have to worry about the freaking machine gun fire raining from the sky. Come, come here, come here. Friend, 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 Romans and spooky gladiators. Wait, wait. You you guys didn't show up last time. Where were you? I feel like this is the crew that jumped me in that hallway. Like, all of them came from around the entire map and they were just like, Oh, we found you! Whenever that one banshee screamed, it was just, Let's just jump him in the hallway. Little bitch won't see it coming. Okay. This is where the real fight starts. I don't think I'm ready for this. But, who cares? Let's go. Worst case scenario, I die a brutalized death. Best case scenario, I almost die a brutalized death. Oh wow, this is, uh, this isn't, I didn't plan for this very well. Do, 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 do. I feel like these steps are actually just where people jumped off to commit suicide jumping into the abyss. Because they thought it was safer than, you know, dealing with the plague. Oh, great. We have the ring equipped. We have everything ready. All that's left is the first attempt at the boss fight. On the count of three. One. Two! Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ha! Blocked it! Ha! Blocked it! Ha! Got hit! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Gotta wait for stamina recovery times. Oh god, another one. Another one's here. We did not work fast enough. Oh great. We should just right bumper them. Like, not even kidding, we, we should just right bumper them. Full heal. Yeah, yeah. Right bumper is a lot quicker of a kill. Ok. 
Okay. Oh, hey. I didn't even realize it was already here. Fun fact, actually, you can do this boss fight at soul level 1, it's just not advised. And it's funny because this is like actually one of the four last bosses in the game. But, you know. Okay. One more. Found him. What do you do for your attacks? Oh, well, at least it's not magic. That would be bad. For me. Okay, he's almost dead. Got it. We win. We win. Oh, thank god. Okay, and we can talk to him now. can guide the truth I shall share after the advent of fire but your progenitor the dark your ancestor clay and soon the flames did thus began however Lord Gwyr clinging to his age of fire and it and the dark Lord who would one day be Lord Gwyn will resist by sacrificing himself to link the Gwyn has blurred your past I I seek to right the wrongs of the of the other serpent, Frabbit, undead warrior. Only I, you must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has and become the fourth Lord. Very well, I shall be. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, we just got swallowed. Not the first time. Uh, the giant frog skull thing in Dark Souls 2. Oh, that thing, that thing makes me cry every time. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Okay, we're doing it. We're putting it on. It's almost there. And thus, the sky was bright once more. Yes! The Covenant are beaming down. I just had a thought. Wait. Wait, hold up, hold up. So, the Crestfallen Warrior, he turns undead if you go to Ring Both Bells, go to Sin's Fortress, go through Anne Orlando, and then come back, right? What happens if you didn't do that? What if you killed the Four Kings before that? Would he, would he still hollow? Wait a second. What if there's hidden dialogue? Might find that out later. Okay. Well, we got that. Very well. Once the vessel is filled, seek Gravelord Nito. Fill then the... Are you then? Let us... Oh god! Being swallowed again! Okay, okay, that- it looks like he just bit my kneecaps and my legs broke. What the hell? Ah, if you wish, 
The legendary puppet can preserve your doom and cast off the shackles. Intercovenant. I can offer humanity to him? I will offer a lot. How much humanity are we talking here? Oh. Hey. I did a thing. Oh, hey. We can buy these now. That's, that's cool. To speak, it begins. Okay. Let's uh leave. Actually, wait. What is it? No, I'm curious. Does does he give us anything besides the armor? Like if we give him like say ten more? Does he? Does he? Or is it eighty? Or is it a hundred? Does he give us stuff? I wanna know. Okay, I guess he doesn't. That's that's depressing. Well, what to do now? Wait, reverse hauling, you are not hollow. Okay. Let's go to Firelink Shrine. So, so far we got the Secret Covenant. We did a boss fight a bit earlier than we should have, because we should have talked to Framp first, and that would have led us to the Catacombs first, so we could get the Art of Kindling. Meaning we could have done that boss fight with like 25 flasks, which is a lot better than, you know, doing it without 25 flasks. Seagoid. Okay. Seagoid's heading down. Off is right there. Oh, something. Okay, and I already bought everything from him. You sorry fool. Enough. I oh? He just called me a sorry fool. Okay. Now we just go through here, throwing all the skellies. I like how when they're stunned, they just fall apart. Oh, they don't even do damage. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's just, let's just take this nice and slow. The only part of the catacombs that scares me is the entrance, and it's literally just because of the skulls, like, those things actually can explode if they get close to the ledge. They normally don't, because you know you're running through it or walking through it fast. But if you're slow, like, say for example you walk in here and you're terrified because it's pitch black, those things will kill you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see that? If you had, like, not really broken armor, those things would kill you. And you couldn't do a thing because you can't hit them. They're an enemy that hurts you, but you can't hit them. It's not like you just can't kill them, it's like you physically can't hurt them. Like, at least the skeletons you can down for a split second. Okay, so go in here. And he didn't drop it. Okay. Yeah, he has a chance to drop the lantern, which is like your lifeline in the catacombs. It's not really, but if you're not used to walking in the catacombs, it's really useful, which I'm not since it's been, what, a year since I've been in the catacombs? Year and a half? Eh, it's fine. We'll find our way. Just makes everything visible. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, dude. Okay. Dashing through the sand with a bomb strapped to my back. I have a nasty plan for Christmas in Iraq. Got through checkpoint A to go through checkpoint B. Okay, that's another necromancer over there. He's gonna revive them until he's dead, isn't he? Oh, that's, that's great. That's great. Where is he? Not today. Frag it. Almost hit him. Who do you think you are? Running around, leaving scars! Dead. Dead. You're all dead. You are all dead. You done goofed when you came into the corner against me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe I'm dead. In the arms of an angel. Okay, got that. It's over here. Ooh, this looks nice. A loosen. A skullern. A skullatern. Skullatern. Huh. Huh. What if what if you just drop down? What if you just skip the whole catacombs? Actually that's a speedrunning method, but we don't do that. So I forgot where exactly you have to jump, but you actually can skip, like, the majority of the catacombs in two jumps. We don't do that here, though. I mean, about that life risk-taking. Suicidal leaps. My mango. So... This is the fun part. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, one, jump! Made it. Take that, Satan. And I think these guys are invincible. I'm not positive, but I'm like almost positive they're invincible here. Yeah, they are. If you don't get souls on the kill, that means they're just gonna get back up. Yeah, found him. I found. Wait. Wait, couldn't we just flip the bridge again? Could, couldn't we? Couldn't we really? He's not supposed to come out here, by the way. So I don't know why he did. At least he doesn't in the base game. So I'm assuming he's not meant to. And... Three. Okay. Isn't this like if you walk on either of those sides at the bottom, you just fall through? Oh, hey. Look at that. Called it. Okay. I don't know if it's both sides or just one, but who cares? We're not taking the risk. Ow. We took a risk. Is that a necromancer, or is that just a candle? There's a necromancer somewhere. Okay. I don't know if he's in here or not. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Yeet. Screeped. Knock him down, knock him down, knock him down. Knock him dead. Yeah, their eye- okay, I think it's the eyes, like, when they're glowing, that's how you know. I'm not sure. Like a hundred percent. What? What is this? What, what even is this? Okay. Hey, I found the necromancer. Oh my god. Did, did a bunch of them just jump? 
my god. They're just committing suicide at this point. Okay, I don't know what that did, but it did something. Oh hey, isn't this a thing? Isn't this a thing? So this is probably gonna kill me, but uh... Oh my god. If that- if I had missed that fall, I would be dead. Okay. So, land on this side, right? 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 Yeah. yeah. Isn't this where Vamos is? Please tell me this is where Vamos is. It is. Yes! Vamos! The man! The myth! The legend! I want to hear this voice clip. Legend, Vamos. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, Vamos is a legend. It's like the blacksmith that you can legit miss almost every playthrough. Get a smith for chit chat. Okay, what do you what do you sell, Vamos? I gotta know. You don't sell anything. You just reinforce up to fire, don't you? Vamos here is the savior of all that is basic as fuck. Fire! Guess we just need green titanite shards, and then we can make a fire parrying dagger now, and we don't actually need Vamos anymore. So, uh, since we don't need him anymore... No, I'm kidding. I think there actually is an ember we need him for. I don't remember what it is, but... Oh, we just skipped a lot of the catacombs. Yeah, yeah, we, we skipped a lot of the catacombs. Ooh. I didn't mean to skip that much of the catacombs. Um, we need to go back up. Like, I'm not even kidding, because there's a lot of stuff we just skipped. Though we weren't supposed to. Uh, is there a catacombs bonfire we can teleport to, or do we actually just have to start from Firelink? Because it's not bad either way, it's just... I, I would like to know. I would like to know. Yeah, I think we have to start from fire. Like, okay, that's fine. Because at least now everything can die. That's what matters, you know? That you can brutally murder your opponents. Okay, so... What do we got here? Challenge. Also, just to double check something real quick, I want to see, are we able to warp to the Vamos bonfire? Uh, that's important. Catacombs. Yes! Oh! Oh, that's great. I was actually hoping we'd be able to warp to that. Because if we can warp to that, then we can warp to Vamos. Which, you know, just in case we actually need him for something else. Probably won't, but I mean, hey. I'm pretty sure he does actually have an ember that we'll need to give him at some point. Actually, like, in most of my playthroughs, I don't go for Vamos. It's just because he's, like, in a weird place. And that drop... Yes, it is a shortcut to the end, but, you know, you have to tank the fall. 
And, you know, if you're not doing a Souls Duplication glitch, you're not tanking that fall. <laughs> you're not tanking anything, but you're especially not tanking that fall. I got me with you. Oh yeah, no, dude, the fucking, uh, the Valma cinematic for Be Gone With You, like, if you actually listen to it, it's really staticky, and the reason's because they recorded it way before they recorded, like, half the lines that for Dark Souls. It's, uh, if I remember right, the voice line is in another game that was made by, uh, not from Soft, it was made by the guy who made it, what was his name, what was his name? I forgot. Basically, though, he made a bunch of games. Uh, if you want to play them, they're on mobile. I know that one. I don't know about if they're on Apple Mobile, but they are on uh, Samsung, like the Google Play Store. And basically, though, in the games, uh, you just moved forward, and it was basically, you know, you could look left, look right, you kept moving on spaces, stuff like that. And they were, it was a pretty okay game, but the thing was, though, was that was actually meant to be a voice line in that game, but it did not did not happen. The reason was because, you know, voice lines were really bad back then, they didn't work out, and the actual thing, if I remember right, was that game did get a couple voice lines in it, it's just that one was cut from it, and they decided to just put it in for a character in this. That's why it sounds all, like, staticky. I just always thought it looked funny, though. Whenever you hear the, be gone with you. when a skeleton tries to dive bomb you, but he doesn't have a plane. We'll just run. That's the worst that could happen. Oh, hey, wrong way. We're on a bridge. we make that jump? I think we can. I bet we can. I bet we can. I bet the skeleton can too. Jesus. The thing just risked a life or death jump just to get to say hello and then die. Okay, so, yeah, we're back in here. Now, I don't remember all the odds and ends of this place, but I do remember somewhere we can join the Gravelord Covenant. That's what's important. Also, I'm pretty sure you have to do that before you kill Gravelord Nido, so I prefer we get that out of the way. Okay. So yeah, what that just did was we just moved this bridge. Okay. Is there a place to jump? Yes, there is. It's right there. It's right there. Okay. Okay. Great scythe, yes! Yes. Is this a pitfall too? Hold it. Oh, there's ground down there though. Do I risk it? I risk it. Where? Where are we? We're not in a good place. I don't know where we are, but we're we're not in a good place. Jesus Christ. Right there. Look at how, look at how snug I look. So snug. Snug as a bug on a rug. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. 
Keep the camera still. Soon. We'll be taken away to a better place. Any day now. Any day. One day, we'll be taken away to a place. Sugar pops and lollipops and gum drops. If, you know, the cough moves. All tankers of the game. So, uh, is, isn't there a timer for this? Shouldn't that time have already passed? I don't think we're moving. <laughs> the day I died. The autobiography now an audiobook. Uh... Nah, nah, we, we need to do some, like, voiceover for just me lying in this coffin. Ahem. <clears throat> it all started that day. First, I fell down a hole. And then I was stuck in a coffin. As I slowly closed my eyes, I wondered, will I dream? If I dream, will there be light? But as I wondered these things, the coffin doors, they just never shut. I was trapped for days and nights, my legs pinned to the back of the coffin, until one day I'd hoped a man would come to save me, or I'd die from starvation, one or the other. But before I knew it, that man Never fucking came. What the hell's going on? Am I doing something wrong? Oh, it's because I'm. It's because I have armor on. Hold up. And as we departed from our world, we were. Die. Oh wait, wait. I'm. I'm a female. <coughs> and as we, we departed from the world. All that we knew, it all faded to black in the emptiness of the abyss. 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 The fuck? Why are we not going? Hold up. No, am I doing something wrong? Do I have to be hollow? Like, is that it? Do, do I? Is, is that a thing? I'm confu- I feel like I'm doing something wrong. This looks like the test of your might for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. A dream of a unicorn. The untold story. So like actually though, why why aren't we going? Maybe we do have to be hollowed. I I guess that that might legitimately be it. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking what we'll do is in a bit we'll let ourselves die so that we can figure out because maybe if we're hollowed it'll work. But we're going to have to die some stupid death. You know. I forgot we had Dragon Tooth. That weapon's fun. Here's my raw Zweihander. I like it raw. A hundred percent physical damage reduction. Bet. It really does! Wow! What a great bargain! Didn't, didn't we didn't we get that off of the Asian guy we killed for his sword that he kept talking to? 
I think so. I feel like we did. Now I almost feel bad. He actually had quality content. You know, had. That was before I killed him. And took a sword that he cherished. Smash! Oh, he's still alive. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Wow, we survived that barely. Okay. What you got? What you got? Demon Titanite? Okay. Ooh, Eyes of Death. You know, you know that'd be great if we could join the Coven. Oh, god damn. I actually do want to join the Covenant, though, like, before we kill Gravelord Nito, which, I mean... If we have to die, I'll, I'll probably die at some point. I don't know when, but it'll probably happen. You're invincible, aren't you? Yeah, you're... you're invincible. Make me fall. Ah, Yes. Oh hey, those are those are holes in the ground. Oh Jesus! Uh, I I didn't mean to like almost step on that. Okay, and they can't die too, so they could just jump down. Try to stop us down here. Found him. Oh, oh, we're playing this game now. Yes! We got it! We got it! No. We got it. Got it. Everything in life is the way it should be now. I'm actually very happy. It's a good day. A very, very good day. So, uh, do we, do we jump down? Is there ground down there? There is ground down there. And it might be our death. And there is an item. Let's get... Oh! Hey! That... Could have been a lot worse. Like, a lot worse, in fact. I'm blocking it. I'm blocking. I'm taking it all. Oh, Jesus Christ. That almost killed them and me. Okay. Yeah, so that's when you get hit by just the boundary of it. You take a lot of damage. If you get hit by the full hit, though... You take a lot more. Long story short, don't don't get hit. Ah. Hey, hey, you're you're that guy. You're that guy. You know from Dateline, Chris Hansen. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay, guess he wasn't. Never mind. Fuck. Where are we? What was that guy here for? Where? Where are? We? Wait. Wait, no, we were- we were just here. So why was he here? What? So confused. He wasn't there a second ago, and that's where we just got the Skull Lantern from. But I didn't see that door. You'd think if one of those knights was targeted on you also, like, you'd think they would get you. But, uh... You know, maybe- maybe I just have high expectations for the Black Knights. Maybe that's it. Also, to get that, you have to actually do, like, hardcore parkour from the top. And that is, like, some BS requirements for some random items. Because I don't even think it's that great. Got him. Did that wheel just, like, fly? Oh my god, it flew all the way to the fog gate. Is this, is this him? No, it's not. This is... Oh, yeah, it is. No, no, this actually is the boss fight. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is Pinwheel. Um, the most disappointing boss in Dark Souls, probably. And it's not even these disappointing. So you're actually meant to fight this guy at the start of the game. Yeah, I know how that sounds. You're, you're meant to fight this guy at the start of the game, though. And I don't know how they planned that, because you you can't get out of here if you did. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand the way they set that up. See, what was supposed to happen is you're supposed to go down here, then head back up to Fire Link and do the rest of the game. That way you have kindling unlocked throughout the entire game, meaning you can have, like, you know, up to 25 flasks throughout the entire game from any bonfire if you sacrifice humanity. But, uh, what wound up happening was... I don't know. You, you physically have to fight this guy after you get the Lord Vessel. So, what happened? What happened to that? Yeah, so, I, I don't know. Gee, is this the real one? Nope, that's strange. I could have sworn the one that didn't summon these would be the real one. How weird, you know? It, it just it just makes me think, like, what? Wow, I actually missed that. It just makes me think sometimes, you know? Oh, hey, look at that. What what happened to his health? What? What? How, how'd that? Oh, wow. Gee, gee Williker. What what happened there? What happened? Oh, oh, look. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. so bad. Oh, that was, a uh, that was fun. To be fair, also, like, just as a fun fact, if you do the, uh, Artorias of the Abyss DLC before you do towards the end of this game, like, there's a couple spells in there that can one-shot nearly any enemy in the game. Actually, I'm pretty sure they, most of the spells can one-shot. Like, if you use any of those on this guy, though, you don't even need those. Like, I'm pretty sure Soul Spear will one-shot him if you have a decent intelligence. So, yeah. Fun facts of the day. Uh, is the the skull lanterns after shields, but it's like right under or right above them, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so you don't need that. I wish they upgraded the range on this, to be honest. Because I like being able to see. And it doesn't make the really harder that you can't see, because all the enemies are pretty well spaced out. It just would have been nice if you could see. You know, you know, like I know that might sound like a bit much to ask for, but, oh no, he died. How could this happen? Okay, and also the bonf- did y'all see that? There was a status ailment. I just got hit with the status ailment for a split second. What the fuck was that? No, like actual. what was that? I just got hit with it for a split second. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was bleed, but it like, it counted an attack that happened after that thing was... But I didn't take the health damage, I just, you know, got hit by the effect. Which makes honestly less sense, but hey. Stark Souls, it could make sense, maybe. I'm gonna go back to playing Roblox. Shit like this doesn't happen in Roblox. It's so well scripted. <laughs> oh god. You guys know what the best well scripted game was in gaming history? Viva Pinata, my dudes. Viva Pinata. Simple, easy, nothing's wrong with it. No. No. Not on your best day. Patches, I do not have time for you. You know, it's funny, actually. Patches has a really, like... It's not even a dark backstory. It's kind of like... He's a good guy, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Literally, he just kills people who he thinks are greedy. Because greed is like the downfall of everyone. Okay, 
So we could get more defect. Kind of want more intelligence. Do I want more intelligence? Eh, I kind of do. Kind of don't. Eh, do I? I'll get. I'll go up. I'll go up. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How's this gonna work? So actually, we do have one thing done. Invading. So like. We could go down to where he wants us to, grab the stuff, one lock patches as a shopkeeper, we'll take whatever he has and then kill him. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Good day, what are you doing in the catacombs? No? Hmm. There's a fine stash of tr I found it first. In any case, have a look. <laughs> there. Yeah, okay, so just as a fun fact, he hates clerics. Oh yeah, these things. Okay, I guess we'll take Patch's advice. Actually, I wonder, what if, what if we kick him down there? You know? I think that'd be pretty funny. And he said yeet. Oh hey, a skull lantern. I guess they put that down. I don't know, was that in the base game? I don't think it was. I don't remember though. I could be wrong. I could have sworn it was all useless items that was down there. Oh hey, those things spawn in. Forgot about those. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's the last one. Okay, so yeah, these guys are clerics, ironically enough. They were uh, Thorlin's companions, if you will. They ditched them though, so they deserve the death. Where's what's-her-face? You were supposed to run into her before you ran into them. But she's right here. You are banished. It pains me to think I am certain that both of you think you're here. I am certain think I am certain. Okay. I 
Twitch thought about something. So that means all three of them fell for the kick. You know what that means? That means they went one by one down just getting kicked. It must be really fucking stupid. Just oh well he kicked him, but eh, it's fine. What? What just happened? The fuck just happened? <gasps> what? It's not the B button. They cha- Oh my god, I found it! You don't hold the dash button! Oh my god, it's the use! Oh my god, it's a breakthrough! A miracle! That makes me happy, but really sad. That means I didn't try everything. No, I shouldn't have to try everything to slide down a ladder, but still means I didn't do it. Oh, well, let's just... I did you wrong, but these... Temptation, you know the temptations, they overcome me. Um... I did you wrong. These tend to be, you know what I mean, don't you? Okay. Okay. Me and him can be friends for a bit. Now I can slide down ladders. That's always fun. Okay, so now we have this place unlocked too. Which means... What does it mean? Where do we go? Where do we go? We probably should look for a way to get the ring. I don't remember where exactly it is though because the catacombs are a really confusing place, but we should probably try to find that. I should also probably try to find a way to kill myself, so... Firelink Shrine, real quick, just so we can test it. Firelink Shrine's like the easiest place to kill yourself in the game. <laughs> Even though it's like literally the start. It's because you can at least like recover your souls. Just jump off as soon as you start. There you go. <laughs> okay. So where do we want to die? Oh yes, this guy's a thing. Oh, they Master Logan, it seems that he is still determined to find I intend to search for him. You see, Master Logan has left with them I you have done much before I leave on this journey. Oh then So uh you'll you'll teach me Master Logan's greatest secrets. Thank it's you. I'm concerned for my, even in this treacherous land. No, the re well, it's really my own concern. It's not that I'm concerned for my even Okay, I feel like that guy knows that Logan goes insane. Oh, I'm sometime. Oh, some. Okay. So I kind of want to explore the catacombs for the ring and then also want to kill myself so I can get that coffin, but I don't know if that's how it works. Huh. Don't know. Okay, well, we'll find out. Testron! You died. I think that's the first time I've seen it this stream. It's good. You know? Two hours doing random stuff. Killed two bosses. Why are we here? This is not not where we should be. Violent Shrine. Also, I just realized, so with all of the bonfires, because they added the Vamos bonfire, right? 
but I'm pretty sure they actually made a couple more bonfires teleporty. So we're going to have like a long list that we can just scroll down. That's nice. I like that. I kind of wish they would have done, like, you know, changed the whole interface so that it's like pictures. Because we know where we're going. Because, you know, we know where we're going. Dark Souls 1 wasn't very complex, but still. I think Dark Souls 2 is probably, like, the least complex out of all of them, and the reason is just because, like, the combat was 8, so they made it so that it's, like, literally, I think it's 12 or 8 enemies in between each bonfire, and if you just kill them all 11 times, they don't come back, so you can make your run pretty easily. Okay, so... The way we're doing this... We're gonna run to the catacombs, run through the catacombs, find the coffin again, and I guess remove our armor just to be double sure? I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but hey. Also, we could. We could. We could cosplay. Good cosplay, dark armor, dark gauntlets, look at that, we look evil, yes, bet, let's do it, let's do it, cosplay through the graveyard, cosplay through the graveyard, do 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 do, hold up, wait, no, no, this isn't right, if we're gonna cosplay through the graveyard, we need the real dark sword, for the dark soul, Dark sword. No, wait, 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 that, that's not it. Dark sword. We don't have the strength or the dexterity. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, I almost jumped off a ledge. First five seconds of saying that. Let's not do that. Okay. Make it, we're gonna make it. I can see my spine. That's, that's a new one. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see your spine. You know, might just be me. Also, do we look shorter when we're in this armor? I feel like we do. I feel like we're a midget now, a skeleton midget. Maybe it's because we look so similar to the skeletons, but they're all taller than us. Maybe we are a skeleton midget, deep down inside. That's what's lurking at the bottom of our hearts. Dad and murder. <clears throat> okay, so we sit down, they reload. That's definitely the creeps of wrath. Okay, okay. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through. Go, 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 go. Go, go, gadget. <laughs> We've got a lot of running ahead. This is gonna be a long day. Jesus! Oh Jesus! They definitely know what damage is. Oh hey, we did a thing. We made them kill themselves. <laughs> uh, I just realized that painting guardian armor has, like, actually no defense. <laughs> I didn't realize that before, but it actually has, like, less than 10. <laughs> less than 20. It's at 11. Okay. Okay. Also, do we still have the Artorias route? We don't need that. We don't need that. There. Boost defense versus physical attacks. So now we just have to find out how the hell we got to that coffin. I think it was this way, but I'm not sure. Was it? Was it not? It wasn't. Oof, okay. Is it lower or higher? It 
is right there. Yeah, when we go down. And then we go into here, maybe. Maybe, probably. Wait, there's a path right there. We should look into that. Okay, maybe this is it. This is the one. Wait, wait, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, that's it. 22 seconds. Okie dokie. So... For anyone wondering, this is the final boss room actually for Grave Lord Nito. And there he is. The man. The myth. The legend. Okay. Does he have a bonfire? Or do you actually have to come here every time you want to offer an eye? I think you actually have to come here every time you want to offer an eye. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Because that means you have to kill yourself and be hollow every time you want to come here. How many eyes do we have? We've got three. And if I remember right, like, one of his things is at the end you actually do get a miracle for upgrading. That's nice. Okay. Now we go back. Okay. So now that we're part of the Covenant, now we go through here. Is this where we were earlier? I think it is. Yeah, with the skeletons that wouldn't die at first. So that's how we got there. I'm kinda curious to know, so like, I know it's down there. Right. But like, what's down here? Did, did we find out? Oh, it was him. So did we find out what was in that hole? Wait a second, there's so many questions I have. Did we find out what was down there? Is there an item? It looks like the answer to that question is no, there's not an item, but that is a room. Oh, that leads to the outside. Never mind, never mind. We've been there. Okay, so we have to find a completely new path that we haven't been down. 
completely new path altogether. Okay. What, what is broken staircase? Okay. Are these guys invincible or no? I don't remember if there was a necromancer for this area. No, there wasn't. Or if there was, it was the guy we killed earlier. With those archers. Okay. That looks like a breakable. That is a breakable. What the hell are we? I'm so lost. What? Why is there a fog here? What? Uh oh. Oh, we went through. Oh. Oh, we went through the wrong side. We were supposed to come from the other way. And then we would have found ourselves here, and then we would have found whatever the hell's in here. And I guess you're meant to drop down and fight these guys? I'm assuming? I'm hoping. I'd hope that's right, because I did it anyway. Hold up, there's a ladder up here. Why? Why is there a ladder up here? It to get back? Is there something up here? No, there's nothing up here. Oh, it's to get back. Oh, it looks like there's a ladder on that side too. Let me down, skeletons. Oh my god, it's not that hard. It's a ladder. You guys make it so difficult. Okay, okay. So there's like no point in going up either of those. What? Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus, why? What was that? What was that? That was the ring we needed. Hold up, hold up, that was the ring. That was the ring we needed for the covenant. That was the ring we needed. I accept my fate. I, I accept nothing. Made it. Okay. 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 What's up here? Where am I? I am so lo- Oh! Oh, you're the one making my life a hell. He thought he'd get away with making life difficult. Not in my Christian server. Okay, so who's up there? Shouldn't those all have been invincible then? Like all the enemies down there, if he was right there. I think so. I feel like the rain should have covered that, but it didn't. It's weird. Where... Where am I? What the hell is this? The f Tranquil Walk of... Where the hell am I? What? Where does that lead? So confused. Oh Jesus Christ. They were waiting. <laughs> okay, um it, you know you know I th I think we've done enough exploring. I I really think we've done enough. Let's uh let's not come back here. We we've 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 done enough. We're gonna head over to the uh Dark Moon Bonfire. We're gonna join that covenant. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll try the online. PvP can't be that bad, right? 
probably, probably gonna be that bad. But still, we can try. Okay, okay, so what we do is we equip the ring, the dark seance ring. Oh, dark, dark moon, dark moon seance ring. Now we unequip our weapons, because we don't want to anger our lord and savior, Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Halt, this is the tomb of the great tarnished, it shall not be, but if thou art a true disciple of the dark, hear the voice of mine self. Oh, disciple I'm kneeling. Sun, thou hast journeyed. If thou shalt swear by the coven, a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the f then I shalt protect thee. Safe. Ha. Huh. Very well. Now thou art a blade of the d hunteth the enemies of the lords by the power of the d Okay. So uh do I do I just hunt people? Kill them? Steal their shit? Sounds about right. Let's uh let's try this. Let's try this. We're gonna invade we're not invading. Wait. Wait, are we offline? We're offline, aren't we? Network settings. Are we offline? Are we gonna have to go to the main menu and restart? I feel like we are. It's very upsetting. But to be fair, like, it's better than us constantly getting knocked off the internet of the game because their Wi-Fi is trash. Okay, okay, we're going in. We are going in. Oh, oh, we're going in. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. How far are we? How far are we? And we're in. Okay, we're doing it. We're invading the world of the guilty. We're gonna kill that guilty trash. Okay. So, uh, are we, uh, are we gonna invade somebody? Or, uh, no? No? Okay, okay. Uh, canceling. We're gonna invade somebody. I know you're searching for the world of the guilty. We're doing it. We're gonna find them. We're gonna find them. And then we're gonna steal their shit. So, uh, this is nice. Huh. 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 We're gonna, we're gonna be here for a while, I think. Probably. Is this is this really what invading's like? I haven't done it in a long time, but like, I feel like it should be qu quicker. Maybe a uh, maybe the undead berg. Maybe that'd have people. Why are my legs broken? Broken legs. Broken legs. She isn't like the top. I'm pretty sure the top place, like where the elevator is, is like. And Dark Souls one that was always where the most PvP happened. I don't know if that would still be accurate though. 
you know, because it's possible, like, maybe for the remaster, just like Undead Burg or something, or Blight. Oh, wait, wait, was that actually like, if you had done an invasion there, it would only be in that spot. Oh my god, no shit, we're not going to find somebody there. What are the odds somebody with humanity is going to just be sitting in the Dark Moon tomb? It's like a... <laughs> that's like... <laughs> oh god, that, that'd be horrifying to get invaded there, though, because that'd be like, oh, I'm at the bonfire, I'm sitting... Wait, why'd the bonfire go out? Wait, invaded? I can't even leave this place. <laughs> oh god, when you know, when you know you fucked up. Yeah, no, because like... I remember it was like the best invasions were like at the top of these stairs. Now invading the world of the guilty. Guilty. Punishment will be endured. Endured. Watch me unequip and re-equip and unequip and re-equip and unequip and re-equip. Let's look at all of our taunts. We got the praise the sun! No, actually, like, not, not even kidding. Like, yo, if, if we got praise the sun, I might as well just, like, you know, just, and then... Uh... The hell are you? What do you have equipped? You got a shield and a spiky thing. Is that a halberd? People with their halberds nowadays. Back in my day, we just used serpent great swords. Wha-bam! Okay, let's see. What else, what else could we use? We could use the Grave Lord. Oh, we don't have dexterity for the Grave Lord Sword. Grave Lord Sword is actually a cool weapon. But, eh, I guess we can't. We don't even have the dexterity for that, seriously. We need to, we need to fix that. We need to fix our dexterity. What, is, what does this require? I feel like it's dexterity. Oh no, it's strength. It is very much strength. So I, saying, I feel like dexterity is the problem, but uh, that is clearly not the case. Ooh, the Great Scythe. This weapon's pretty fun. Only we had the dexterity. Good job. Okay. Yeah, we got the Dark Hand. We can punch him with this. Maybe. Actually, hold up. I know what we could do. If PvP works, if we get into a match, we got to block, punch, block, grapple, punch, block. Just look at that. You can't even tell what I am. You see the legs and you're like, oh god, is that a golden knight? But then plot twist, I'm obese. Oh, wait, actually. <laughs> I just thought something to be funny as hell. You see someone running up to you and it's just a blur. And at first you see the gold feet and you're like, maybe they're a giant. Turns out they have the onion armor on. <laughs> Ooh, maybe the undead perish. I don't know. I, d I don't know like what the major PvP zones would be. You know. This is lame though. Man, if PvP takes this long, nobody must do it. Yeah, okay. I don't know, there's probably an enemy that drops them, because if I remember right, in the base game of Dark Souls 1, you couldn't find enemies that drop those things of reprisal. However, in uh, the remastered, I think that might be one of the changes they made. I would hope so. Do 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 do. Okay. So now we go here. And I think off stream I'll try to do some PvP. I don't know though. 
We know she's not real. You'd think she might say something. Like, oh, bearer of the curse. Also, that's another thing. Why do they call you bearer of the curse? You don't actually, like, it, it's not a real curse. It's your power. Oh, chosen undead. Thou hast... Please. Father's role thou should assume. That thou shalt end it this eternal twilight. And avert King Seeker Prant, the primordial. Please. Father's role thou should assume that... I just realized, so like, I guess they didn't plan for you to come back to talk to her. Because if they had, like, she should have some dialogue for you joining God. Okay. Well, I guess that's decent for now. Eh, we could head over to the library. That'd be an okay place to go. I don't want to, like, end anything, though, because, see, we could fight Dark Sun Gwendolyn, but I want to save that for after we do his covenant, and same with Nito. I don't want to kill Nito until the covenant's done. That is a surprise. We are both... I shall look for... Hmm. Very auspicious. I pray that through you... Have you heard of Seath as in legend? He turned again. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, and was allowed at the Regal Archives. He immersed himself in research on scales of immortality, but his very research, the archives, became a dungeon. Now it loot, but I. Okay. Well, let's go to said archives. What's the worst that could happen? Did I ever open that chest? Huh, I didn't. Okay. <coughs> okay. Why do you do so much knockback? Oh my god. I can't. There's Because there's two of them, the knockback stun is real. Okay. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe, maybe if we can't outpoise him, we can outsmart him. You know, you know, maybe, maybe, probably not. Oh, he killed us. Oh, we just got brutally mur- Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. I need to rethink a lot of things about life now. <laughs> we got disconnect. Oh, my- oh. oh, my god, their servers are actually that bad. Their servers are actually- Oh my god. We got disconnected for dying. No, we're we're going to start the game in offline mode. We're not doing that. Oh my god, that is so dumb. What the hell? That that should not happen. Okay. No, me dying is my fault. But that is not that is dumb. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You know, my entire time playing this game, I think we've only had one invasion on the remastered. And I'm pretty sure that one invasion was somebody who is way overpowered compared to us. Like, he died because since Fortress is just broken knocking you down. It's not meant to actually kill you, it's meant so that uh, you die from game physics. You don't normally die from the actual traps or the enemies.
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. So, what you do is BAM! Got him. It's like as he's raising the shield, you can just do that. Got him. Okay. So, one of these is definitely a mimic. Calling it. Oh, hey, I'm wrong. Well, you know what that means by default. Do we have that item? I'm pretty sure they're, like, uh, in Dark Souls 3, if I remember right, did, does this do that? Where it, like, makes it make the noise. Oh, yeah, it does. We're still gonna kill it. I just, I, I wanted it to do the thing, you know? BAM! Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's hitbox missed me. GG. GG. So if you want to dodge it, just go into it. Don't run away. You know, that, that worked. Oh, we didn't hit him fast enough. Gotta hit him harder. Faster. Stronger. Okay. And now we never have to deal with giant knights again. What a shame. Okay. Let's move on to the next chapter in our lives. You know, actual enemies. Isn't there like a boar at the up, th like at the end of this hallway? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it 1v1. Me versus a boar. Flashlight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You and me, you and me. Oh, hey, you can roll straight through it. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to do that. If you roll towards him, it's supposed to, like, knock you forward. We rolled, like, through his body, though. That That's not supposed to happen. So, what I'm assuming is they wanted the graphics on his eyes and armor to look better. So, probably while he's moving to keep frame rate uh, optimized, they probably made him a semi-solid. Like, to where instead of uh, his body counting as a full moving object, what it probably is, is instead his body counts as the entire attack. And you know, you can- you have invincibility frames from attacks where attacks go straight through you. So if his whole body counts as an attack, then that's probably what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it was, like, just to cut corners to make sure it ran at optimal. Oof. That's sad, though. That could have been good. Could have been realistic. Not really, but you know, they could have tried. They could have tried. Uh, that is something they could have done. Forgot what's up this path. I'm trying to think of what's up this path. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's try it. No, yo, you guys. Nope. Nope. They aren't very strong. I feel like that channeler at the end of the hallway is gonna be like really strong. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, that almost hit us. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the way this works, though, is the Channeler gives them a huge buff, and if they get in the range of that buff, then, you know, then I'll be taking some massive damage. Why did I do that to myself? Okay, it didn't affect me. Thank God for crappy physics. Because if I remember right, those are supposed to make it so that nobody can use flasks in the area. Nope. If we just did slightly higher strength, we could probably one-shot these guys, even when they're buffed. That's honestly kind of cool. Is he gonna teleport? He's gonna teleport. 
Oh, he didn't teleport. That's weird. Normally he does. Normally he teleports to the top of that staircase and starts spamming. Okay, and the way these archives is set up is legit BS. So, I'm gonna explain this as we're going along. But here's the way the archives work, which is why I don't dislike the archives. I dislike the way they're set up. So, you have to die in the archives. Like, physically have to, unless you have a home bone. And it's because the first time going through the archives, you're meant to be killed and then taken prisoner. And put inside a cell. Which, I mean, hey, you meet up with Big Cat Logan, that's cool, but... I mean, is that really a sacrifice for everything else? Like, if nothing else, I just wish they didn't make it mandatory for you to die, as far as the game's concerned. Because a mandatory death is really BS. And I don't think they give you a homeward bone before you go in either, so if you're, like, cared for the fact that you're about to be guaranteed death, then, I mean, hey, you lose whatever souls you had, and you can go back to that room, however, but it's very convoluted how you go back to that room. Because you have to, instead of going, like, from your prison cell to it, you have to go a completely new route. Oh, got him. Got him. Right in the knees. Right in the knees. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. There's an enemy to the left. Oh, he has red eyes. That must mean he's strong. Not strong enough. What a shame. Wait. Hold, hold up. Hold up. I have to, I have to double check this. Y'all, you, you see that, right? It's a fucking castle appearing out of no- What the heck? Does it change the sun, too? Oh my god, it does. The brightness changes. Does, does that area change? No? Okay, it's just that. That's a very noticeable change, but it's just that. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a homeward bone ready. We're about to need that. We're going on a trip to a place called Ashuwitz. It is shower time. Little juice dines. Do 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 do. Going on a trip. What's coming up? I got him, my eye, and now I am blind. Okay, so there should be one enemy up here that you can kill. And then, you know, you have the enemy that you physically can't kill no matter what you do, so you, there's no point in trying. And, ironically on PC, however, if you do kill him with mods, it's funny because, uh, what winds up happening is you're just stuck in a room that you can't do anything in. Oh, we didn't kill it. That's lame. It's like, it, it's guaranteed you do have to die here. Yep. I think... Okay, so it's funny how this is actually shown as a boss fight, though, even though you don't have a chance. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, does he have to hit you first? I didn't know he had to hit you first. Huh. Or did they just completely make it so that you have to die? Oh, that's lame. Okay, well... Let's see, what can we do here? We could... We could go to the secret dragon area. I think that's always fun. 
Yeah, let's do that. So to get to the secret dragon area, you have to go somewhere. Where the fuck was it? I think it's a uh, daughter of chaos. Yeah, that's it. So you go to the daughter of chaos. And instead of going down, you go back up. We go through Blight Town, but not the top half, the bottom half. And then we go all the way to the giant tree. It takes us to the bad place. To the bad. Place. Okay. That's nice. So now we head up. Also, do we have the armor that makes you almost immune to poison? If not, I don't think we do. Welp. Rip. We're doing it. We're gonna wade through the poison. Also, we're going to. Where's the rusty ring? Rusty ring. It makes it so you can move faster in things like the toxic and the. Not toxic, the poison. And the uh, water areas. That's helpful. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I wonder. It's like, I want to upgrade my stats, but I'm debating what I want to upgrade. And I want to make it so that, like, we physically can't take damage. Because we're gonna probably need that for the DLC. Because the DLC is not a fun place to go. I don't think, like, any Dark- all the Dark Souls areas, except for Dark Souls 3, the DLCs are broken for OP levels. Dark Souls 2, it wasn't, like, as bad. It was just you had to speedrun it to get half the stuff in it. But, like, Dark Souls 3, for example, uh, that one was just literally, like, you're probably on level for it as long as you can get to it. Dark Souls 1, though, you can get to the DLC whenever. And it's just bad. Whenever you get to it is bad. Okay. I, uh, I'm gonna want that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see though, now we can just run at normal pace. Which is nice. Do we not take poison damage? We're not taking damage. I think we have too much health. Huh. Never thought I'd say that sentence. Okay. Yeah, so she only shows up if you have enough, uh, it's like either intelligence or faith. So yeah, and she sells uh, pyromancies, and they're actually decent. And she also ascends your pyromancy hand. So your abilities can get pretty strong with pyromancy, which is nice. Nope. Is that a person? Hold, hold up. Hold up. No. No, I've never seen an NPC there. Hold up. This is important. I've played Dark Souls a lot, but I normally play it about the same way, so maybe I'm missing something. Hold the phone. Who the hell is that? Is that a pyromancer? Who is that? It's an enemy pyromancer? What? What? Wait a second. Yo, this is the guy we were buying pyromancies from earlier. Oh, he turned on us because he went crazy. That's lame. Thought he was going to be cool and friendly, but nah. Well, he was my friend. Now he is not. 
Did he find a cool pyromancy at least? Nope. Didn't think so. He wasn't good enough to even do that. I wonder what killed him though. Cause you know like something had to have killed him. Plot twist, it was the mosquitoes. He was too weak for them. Okay, and we are gonna explore Upper Blight Town eventually, just not not right now. Maybe later, when I'm feeling like I hate myself. Over here. Oh, hey. Found a pyromancer's outfit. That's probably where he died. He learned some sick pyromancy right there and then just dropped. He was like, oh, poison mist. This sounds wonderful. Then he choked on it to death. I, I wouldn't be surprised. It's probably the lure. We could probably go up to Blight Town from there. I don't want to, but I'm saying we probably could. Because Blight Town actually does have some things that I do want to get. It's just I don't want to get them right now. That's Seagward. Seagward here. Please tell me that's Seagward. Ah, uh, it's Seagward. Is it? Is that Seagward? I think it's Seagward. Oh. Maybe it's not Sigurd. Maybe I just need a friend that badly. Oh wait, that's an item. Okay, Nature. Yeah, it probably wasn't worth me getting poisoned, but... If I remember right, Sigurd needs, like, the poison... non-poison loss. I don't remember if that's exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's what, like, his thing here is. He'll, like, ask you for some. You see, I've made it this far, but I'm, um, by my knighthood, I, but can you see? And this, please. Well, How much I'll moss do I have? I have one. I, hmm. I quick, hmm. You've got to be kidding me. He gave- he let me keep one. That little fatty's just gonna eat- I feel like- okay, so he asked for the moss, but I feel like the real reason he wanted is he's like, I need a snack. Hmm, maybe I'll convince him to give me all of his. Hmm. God, what what is that stuff? Does does that petrify? Because petrification's like a definite you die. It's like always what I'm terrified somebody's gonna use is just petrification. You're dead. Give up. Okay. We're almost done with the swamp. We got the server. If I remember it, isn't that the, uh, that's the weapon that steals health on hit. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Either hit or kills, one or the other. Is that... 
That one's still alive. It wasn't targeting us though. It was just there. Ooh, green titanite. We need that. Okay, is there anything under? No. Anything over here? Of you? Oh, hey, there actually is. Dead end, you guys know what that means. Which all I didn't actually know where it was, but I'm happy I hit it. Like I knew it was around that general area, I just didn't know where. Ah do 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 The Great Hollow Legend has it, this place is pretty darn great. Isn't that a one-way ladder? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Thought it would have been funny. Also, I'm happy I can slide down now. Okay, why did why did I just get souls? What died? I feel like an enemy down there just like committed suicide. Just committed toaster bath. And I don't know how. What what are you how? How do you even? No, like, I see it. How do you even? How are you supposed to get that before it runs away? What is this? Some of these are like complete BS. Like, you can tell this was made for hardcore parkour, but still. Some of this is BS. The goals, literally, of this is just to get to the bottom safely. What is... What is this? It's like a shadow here. Hold up, no, no, there, there's like a legitimate shadow there. What is... What is this? I guess it's just a literal shat. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Now I'm curious. Maybe it was the shadow of that guy projecting to the wall? But if that's the case, that means he's emitting darkness. That means they legitimately wanted him to be so darkened that they made him emit darkness. That's like neon black. Which, by the way, for anyone wondering, is a color. Neon black is a thing. Oh! Yeah, no! No, okay. So bodies shine through things now. That's not a normal thing. Oh my god, the bodies are so dark, they shine through walls with their darkness. I can see their darkness through the darkness. Oh. Oh. Okay, um, you have to make a couple jumps, don't you? Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm guessing if you miss said jumps, you die. Probably. Is there, a sha there is, there's a shadow down there, right under the body. Oh, that's so dumb. How do you do that? How do you mess up so bad with your graphics for a game you're remastering that you make it so the bodies shine through walls? Well, shine through trees technically, but I mean, I think I think actually shining through trees is worse because that's kind of weird. I shine through the wood. Oh, great, the petrifying things. Okay. 
Okay. Now, these things aren't so bad, just you can't get petrified or it's a definite you die, but they're not really that bad. Oh my... What? 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 Why was that such a delayed death? What the hell just happened? <laughs> Okay, well, guess we're guess we're going back to hardcore parkour. What the fuck? What was that? I just I don't I'm so confused. It's like I tried to dodge the petrification, but by dodging the petrification, the game forced me to slide down, and then it kept forcing me to slide down. And then it kept forcing me to slide down. Okay. Yo, there's an item there. Yo, we might lose all of our stuff, but like, there's an item there. Yo, like, there, there's an item there. This is important. Hold up. Hold up. What is it? What's that do? Isn't that the ring that you get at the beginning of Dark Souls 2 that boosts your uh, stamina regen? Yeah, it is. Wow. You know, this is a big difference from farming it in Dark Souls 2 just casually and finding it here, and it's in a very, very... It's on a body, and the shadow... Oh my god. Well, we out where the body for that shadow was. Wait. Wait, what? The floor was too high to actually just go down. You had to roll. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We made it. Oh god, yes. Sup? Sup, nerds? Sup, nerds? What? Wait, you gonna fight me? You gonna fight me? Hey. Okay. 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 Oh! Well, that should have been expected. Should have been expected. Doesn't, if you're cursed, doesn't that mean that you just fucked yourself?